Hello, today we are going to discuss about the add method in our array list implementation. In last video, we discussed about the array list, our array list constructors. And to, in, in today's video, there is a, a change in a format. So what I will do, uh, I will share with you or we will do the code review on an IDE and then later we will discuss the use cases on a whiteboard. So in yesterday video, we discussed about the array, our array list constructor and we, we think of from the two perspective, one from the uh, interview perspective, coding interview perspective and from the, uh, the other perspective is uh, how we can be good with our data structures. So now today we are going with the same technique. So for example, you are on an interview and uh, interview ask you we need to create our array list uh, which should have two constructors and the one add method so um uh, we can discuss or maybe we can summarize what we did in our last video and when we can move on to the add so i'm i'm sure you guys remember okay we created a default capacity then we have two empty lists both have some functionality which we will discuss in today's video then today i created only two new things one is the size variable which is responsible to save the existing data elements and give us the big o of one uh, performance when our client will ask what's the size and then this max array size so this is the constructor in which if you give the capacity more than zero then we will create according to that the array if you give us the zero then i will put element data against this so we have an empty array and if you give me the wrong like the less than ones we will throw the exception and in the second example the the constructor we have directly putting the default empty element data it means again this is empty for now there is no array list in memory and we discussed yesterday the benefit is so once you will add the first element at that time uh, we will generate for you the new array by doing that we will save that memory from the abuse okay so now today we are going to work on an add, add method and i really love this method okay so in case of a add what things we need to <clears throat> think about the the most important thing as we learn we think okay array is a fixed size and array list is not a fixed size but now today you will see there is no magic under the hood basically array list is also using under the hood array only they are taking care of the capacity so they will increase capacity for you uh, according to the situation so today uh, this one is pretty easy everyone can understand okay what we are doing we are saying okay the element which comes take that please add into the element data and then the size plus plus so the size will change now but before that there is a one method which is quite interesting so internally there is a one method its name is ensure capacity internal what that thing is doing this thing okay size plus one it means it's saying okay uh, java sdk currently this is our size and now i want to input a one more element can you check for me is it okay to add or we need to do some work we need to increase the capacity so once we go inside of that that is calling again a one more method ensure explicitly capacity which is internally calling one no method calculate capacity so this one we can discuss more so in case of a calculate capacity what we are doing basically so if you initialize your array list with the empty constructor you can see now so i did the empty constructor which means i assign an empty array in that case what will happen once we will come here we are checking okay if element data is equal to equal to default capacity element data then what you need to do you need to return me the capacity maximum of the default capacity or min capacity in this case in our case if we initialize by doing this 
it means my size is 0 size plus 1 will be 1 I will be here and default capacity is 10 10 is and 1 so max is 10 so we will return from here 10 okay for example now we initialized our array list by using this constructor and I give for example maybe 5 initial capacity in that case what will happen this condition will not do nothing and we will return from here 5 so that 5 is going to the this method now in this method what will happen I have a min capacity now we are going to check we at this point really we need to increase the array length uh, or not by the way there is one more important thing which is not the part of this uh, tutorial but only want to share with you so if you go and you will open the java sdk code you will see mode count plus plus basically mode count is the one who is taking care of uh, taking care of the concurrency kind of not not concurrent you can say it. so in, in in the case of if you are trying to do some work with the array you are using iterator and suddenly you do, you remove something from the array and on the other side some uh, the other thread is doing something with your array also you will get the concurrent modification exception and that happened due to this variable and this one is available in a abstract list class so we are not going to discuss here but if you are really curious please go ahead and check this one okay so in this case what happened so I'm saying okay my min capacity is this what is the total currently element data dot length if it's greater than zero then it's a time to increase the capacity because I can't manage so for example in our case uh, I have for example 10 10 dot so element data has 10 and then I send the mean capacity like 10 plus 1 11 so 11 minus 10 it means is greater than 0 we can't add so we need to grow but vice versa for example I have an element of data dot length 10 but my original size currently I have only 5 elements inside of that and once I will sending this so it means 6 so 6 minus 10 it means minus 4 is greater than 0 no so this will return without doing anything and now we will add so here you need to understand big O of 1 or big O of n so in that case once there is no need to grow it's a kind of a big O of 1 operation but in case you are going to increase the uh, you are going to add the element which we can't handle in the array our existing array you are going to grow now we are going to see how the grow method is working so in case of a grow method first it's copying the length the how <coughs> so for, for example we have a default capacity 10 so it means element of data length will return me 10 now old capacity is 10 so old capacity plus old capacity right shift 1 so I am sure you guys are aware of by doing right shift 1 it means I am dividing that thing by 2 and if we do the left shift at a bit level 1 it means I am multiplying by 2 so in this case if I have 10 by doing right shift it means now it's 5 so I will say old capacity plus 5 it means 15 so now you can understand every time when you are going when your array list is going to be grown it means it's always taking a half of the array size extra so in this case we have for example now 15 so new capacity will be 15 now we will see what will happen so in case of this uh, we have 15 and uh, I send the min capacity will be 1 so what will happen 15 minus 1 is 14 is 14 less than 0 no which means we are going to the next step okay 15 minus max array size so max array size basically an integer max size minus 8 uh, but still that is not going to be greater than 0 so now we decided basically not we the JDK decide, SDK decided okay we are going to double the, the, the increase the size half of the existing one so which means it is going to be 15 uh, we will come here and we will see what happened here but before that in if there is a case I am sending the min 
which is for example 10 and the new capacity is 15 then what will happen 10 minus 15 it means minus 5 minus 5 is less than 0 so our new capacity will be changed to 15 because I am saying okay uh, we are we, we are not going to grow our new array by doing this algorithm instead we are going to grow our array by taking the user input the input which we are getting as a parameter then huge capacity uh, in in this case i am not sure like how i can generate this but what is my understanding after reading this code okay once i have a new capacity which new capacity is only possible if i will give integer dot max size or max size minus one or max size minus two because as we know this one is minus eight so if i have a value max value minus seven that can go inside of that if case so once we are here then it's saying okay it's a huge capacity we need to improve now it's going my taking my that mean capacity it will check if it's mean capacity less than zero throw out of memory exception less than zero there is a possibility less than zero i think when the integer overflow from the four bytes it will move into the minus sign that's why and then after we are doing this setup which is pretty simple but in this case there is a huge possibility your virtual machine is going to die okay and mainly your program is going to die because virtual machine will say okay i can't give you that amount of memory or if your machine is pretty good then yeah it will work okay so now it's growing then after grow method is gone we are calling a array dot copy of method so now inside of that basically under the hood around two layers below we are calling this method system dot array copy this is an amazing method so basically system is a class of uh, jdk and array copy is kind of is a c it's a native method so it under the hood i i'm not able to see the implementation of this method but i can see the 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 declaration of this method so we can come here and we can read this one so what will happen in this case under the hood in a c or c plus plus there is an implementation of this method but we can understand from here so once we are sending my original object which which is our array element data then i'm sending the source position is zero so i'm saying hey array copy method please do copy my existing array into the new array from this position to this position so in this case like you can read really easily so this is our elements data this destination will be our new array which we are sending where we need to copy because now we are we created a new one with the 15 elements then the source position will be zero and the destination position will be zero so basically this method will take on a zero element copy into the zero element of this one then it will automatically do one two three then the length so length means how many elements this needs to copy so we are already aware of our source is 10 elements destination is 15 elements but we will send the length is 10 because then the, the new five elements are still empty so this method will copy for us now we will discuss a little bit about the analysis of this so in this case once we call the add method and ensure capacity is going to do some work if it's going to grow it means now we are going to call this method this method is a big o of n and n means because if i have 10 elements i'm going to copy those 10 elements in a new array so the the same amount uh, n n means 10 and then we will put the n plus 1 method which is 11 and then after that once we are back we will add and the size is now 11 and on the other side if i have 10 and i'm going to send the eighth element in that case this is eighth element so this will do nothing because i still have two element uh, data empty so we will add that there and so this is how they implemented add method now we will discuss three two three use cases and hopefully after that things will be more clear now we are going to discuss the use cases and i hope you remember all of our discussion which we did the code review together so 
if we are for example i'm going with this use case so our client call our our array list kind of a integer and then dot add five in this case what will happen so as the client is using the default constructor without any argument and we discussed if you are not giving me the any information so when the compiler when the jv machine will run this code and till at this point there is no array inside of our memory so most probably we can draw the memory here so our element data array element data array will look like this empty until this as i call the add method at this time what will happen it will go inside the ensure capacity internal method where it will go into the calculate capacity inside of a calculate capacity it will check oh it's empty and this empty because due to the default constructor so it will give us like a new array of 10 now we have 10 element spaces and then it will add 5 now if again it will call the add method with for example 2 2 so it's like this and now it's a big O of 1 every time it will take the same time now we can discuss the second case second scenario in which case client is giving us the initial capacity which is 5 now what will happen once this code execute until at this point before the add we have an array with the 5 and with the empty spaces and now when the client will call dot add we will add the 5 so now you can see the difference in the the the, the, the last case which we discussed in that case there is no array inside of memory until we call the add but in this case as you say okay i need this capacity we will get on the spot this memory so you need to decide when you are writing code which constructor is good for you and why then the the bad use of this constructor the same constructor but if i call with zero now you remember with zero what will happen it is not going to give us the default uh, capacity instead what it will do it will come here it will say okay it's zero add five and currently we have empty array this will go into the add five it will go to the check the calculation capacity calculation capacity will say okay i'm not able to give you the default capacity because it's not started by this constructor okay then it will return me the the capacity which is size plus one size plus one means here it's zero plus one one and now we will move towards the uh, the growth first we will check the capacity but what is the current capacity in that case we you remember we saw that code old capacity old capacity which is equal to uh, the current element dot length which is currently is zero due to this bad usage and then it will create a new capacity old capacity plus old capacity uh, right shift one so in this case what will happen now it will generate the zero divisible by two zero so we have one divisible by two and zero and half so it means zero plus one so we have a new capacity which is one now we will get a new array of one and now we will go also inside grow method and grow method will call the copy and then it come here and now you added a one more like for example after five three again so currently now you are uh, giving a penalty of a big o of n because every time it need to grow so from here you can understand how much important this parameter 
so if you are not giving it's a default capacity it will only allot you when you are going to use and if you are giving the capacity then do your best to give the proper capacity in which there will be no big off and hit the last thing we can discuss is a scenario where maybe we have a proper capacity like for example 5 and I already added add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so now I have this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 now user gave the 6 in this case what will happen it will go into the unsure capacity unsure capacity will go into the check the capacity then check capacity is saying hey I can't I don't have enough uh, space so we need to grow now we will go into the grow method then what will grow will do grow will say okay we need a new capacity which will be around 5 7 around yep 7 now we have a new array of 7 one two three four five six and seven now we are going to call that system dot array copy method so arrays dot copy method inside of that we are going to call system dot array copy now in that system dot array copy so for example this is my method copy so i'm saying okay this is my source yes you need to copy from zero okay this is my destination makes sense you need to put at zero and what is the length length of this which is five now in in, in c or c plus plus code that is going to copy the array at a system level so what it will do it will say okay one two three four five and then it will return this method to our ed the internal one so now we have a new so this is how it's work under the hood. So I hope you understand today is the, the topic and see you in next video. Bye.